ओम इंस्टीट्यूशन योगी राम से कुमार इज होली फादर्स वर्ल्ड पीपल विल रिमेंबर दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर सेंचुरीज एंड सेंचुरीज and so many kinds of this beggar has told anybody who enters the gate of this ashram mm. is blessed by father mm. blessed are the people who have entered this institution in the dark ages of kali yuga when wrath greed and deviation from the divine are common there is one silver lining It is easier than ever to reach God if we want to. The divine beggar, the God child, the very embodiment of everlasting enlightenment, Bhagavan Yogiram Sarat Kumar holds court in the temple town of Tiruvannamalai. Curing diseases with a single word, the slight curve of his lips in a breathtaking smile would vanquish the fears in our hearts. A strong pat on the shoulders of the humble would wash away their sins a simple gesture such as him raising his hand would pour down blessings god revealed himself to us in the form of bhagavan yogiram sarat kumar to breathe the freshness of devotion and guru bhakti into the lives of thousands of devotees and in order to ease the indescribable suffering of the world Bhagavan Yogiram Sarat Kumar's ashram acts as a refuge from the chaos of the world into the nurturing arms of divinity. When the cleansing waters of the Ganga flows within our reach, is it not wise to wash our sins with purifying Guru Bhakti? Let us begin now and take our first steps through the journey of Yogiram Sarat Kumar's ashram. and bathe in the downpour of his blessings we are now looking at chengam road in tiruvannamalai this is where bhagavan ramana maharshi ashram is located the road bustles with life and energy as we proceed further into the street opposite that brings us a step closer to yogiram sarat kumar ashram We see an arch indicating the direction beckoning us further into the arms of Bhagavan. We proceed down this road and turn right at the small crossroads. We walk a few more meters and we will arrive at the impressive site of the ashram entrance where an artfully sculpted stone arch welcomes us. As we look at it, we see the stone arch is embellished with various objects associated with Bhagavan. These objects have a greater significance than is revealed at first glance. His coconut shell is the symbol of Akshaya Patra, the legendary vessel of abundance to feed the entire world. His palmera leaf fan, to the eyes of a casual observer, seems like a mere tool for cool air, but it is actually a Sudarshana chakra that drives away our sins with its divine brilliance. As we continue walking in, We see the buildings Ganga, Yamuna, Kaveri, Saraswati and Yogiram on the right hand side. These are the accommodation spaces provided by the ashram for the comfortable stay of devotees. To the left is the Yogiram Sarat Kumar Vidyalaya Nursery and Primary School. a temple of learning it was instituted one year after bhagavan's mahasamadhi the school started with humble beginnings with just three classes from pre kg to first grade and a few students it has grown now to accommodate classes up to the fifth grade 
and provides education for over 160 students with free education for many underprivileged children. The service to society continues from here. On the second Sunday of every month, a free medical camp is conducted for the poor and needed as mandated by Bhagavan in 1999. Upon entering the ashram, one immediately feels peace. As Bhagavan has repeatedly said, anyone entering this ashram is blessed by Father. To the left, we see Bhagavan's photo with him adorning his affectious smile, welcoming devotees into the ashram. Adjoining it is a little stall selling pictures, books and trinkets of Bhagavan and the monthly ashram magazine. To the right is the ashram office, where one can get information regarding ashram events, accommodation and make donations. Our footwear is left in the stand near the office before we proceed further. To the right is the Yaga Sale, where Sadhu Bojan offering food to the sadhus happens every afternoon. This too, like the medical camp, was started by Bhagavan in July 1999 and continues to serve society with the generous support of the public. We now see a black marble pillar which was commissioned by Sri Justice Arunachalam, the spiritual successor and head of the ashram. It was installed on the eve of Bhagavan's 100th birthday celebrations by Maharanyam Sri Sri Murli Swamiji in the auspicious presence of Pujya Sri Sri Nityananda Giri Swamiji on March 6, 2018. This pillar is to reflect the glory of Bhagavan Yogiram Sarat Kumar as long as the sun and moon exist. The ashram established a library which houses various books on spirituality. There are quotes and sayings of Bhagavan on the blue boards throughout the ashram grounds. Just before we enter the ashram Pradhan Mandir, we can see a board detailing the daily ashram schedule and pujas. Welcoming us into the Pradhan Mandir is a statue of Yogiram Sarat Kumar on the left and one of Ganesh on the right. The moment we enter the Pradhan Mandir, we see a magnificent statue of Bhagavan sculpted by the renowned sculptor Sri Kala Sagre Rajagopal. It was installed on December 18, 2019 by Bhagavan himself who declared this statue is not of this beggar. It is my father's statue. Afterwards, he proceeded to circumambulate the statue and offered pranams at his feet. He declared that whoever circumambulates the statue of his father and offers prayers would receive boundless grace from his father. No words are able to capture the magnificence of Bhagavan. How can your divine brilliance as bright as a thousand suns ever be described? How can one communicate your infectious laughter? All the languages in the world cannot put your grace into words. How many births worth of punya will we need to be placed at your lotus feet? With your magnetic personality, and an intellect as sharp as a tact, your eyes contain the light of the entire universe. This infectious laughter looks deep into our souls, beyond our human frailties, 
surrendering us to his lotus feet. Near the main statue of Bhagavan is another lifelike statue of him made of wax fibers. It has been installed in the Pradhan Mandir hut in the very place Bhagavan used to sit during the construction of the ashram. Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jaya Guru Raya Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jaya Guru Raya Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jaya Guru Raya Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jaya Guru Raya In the south facing area of the ashram you will see the Mahasamadhi shrine of Bhagavan There is a Shiva Lingam there Various practices such as chanting of Vedic hymns performing abhishekas decorating the lord with flowers clothing and aarti are being conducted every day the physical body of bhagavan is buried and rests in a seated position directly below the shiva lingam during the construction of the ashram every attempt to lower the roof trusses onto the foundation ended in failure bhagavan then instructed this picture of his to be brought and the lamp to be lit before attempting again with his blessings the trusses easily landed onto the foundation from that day on the lamp remains to be lit as instructed by bhagavan end of the Pradhan Mandir is a three-roomed building called the Siddhi Stalam where Bhagavan attained Siddhi. It houses Bhagavan's pictures, his belongings and the medical implements used for his treatment. Outside we see a small building which houses the ambassador cow which Bhagavan used for his daily travels. We progress further south and see a small hut christened by Bhagavan as the breakfast hut. This hut is of great significance as all important decisions regarding the construction and design of the ashram were made here by Bhagavan. Walking across the ashram we come to another hall this small hall was first completed in the construction and christened grace by bhagavan this hall now serves food to devotees who come to the ashram we then reach a gated area for ashram residents where there are 10 cottages for each cottage There was a housewarming ceremony conducted on specific dates as mandated by Bhagavan. Bhagavan said, "Food alone is god for those who are hungry." For all devotees who visit the ashram, prasad meals are provided in the morning and noon in the Amudam dining hall, found on the right side of the main entrance gate. This efficient and effective service is very popular for many devotees who happily take part in this noble venture. A small bowl of prasad is given to anyone visiting the Pradhan Mandir from 6 o'clock in the morning to 8 p.m. at night. Bhagavan has always said, prasad is not just food or objects, 
it is my father's grace we are now looking at the place where tulabaram is given in the ashram devotees come here to give tulabaram when their prayers have been fulfilled this is an ancient ritual where devotees sit on one side of the ceremonial balance and offer his or her weight equivalent as an offering such as coconuts etc to god it symbolically represents the devotee offering himself to the lord The whole of Mahatmas has been instituted in the Swagat Mandap. On the ground floor of the Swagatam is a meditation hall open to those seeking introspection and meditation. On the first floor is the large hall with the glass overlook into the ashram's Pradhan Mandir. It is said where cows are treated fairly and taken care of goddess lakshmi is forever present in our ashram too there is a goshala where cows are taken care of with regular and proper cow worship around 8 months before his mahasamadhi Bhagavan personally oversaw the construction and establishment of Maha Deviki Veda Pachala where the Rig and Yajur Vedas are now being taught. It was officially opened on June 28, 2012 by Maharanyam Shri Shri Murli Dara Swami ji. The ashram Girivalam path is a path which goes around the entire ashram. The simple path is actually a boon in disguise. It is an example of Bhagavan's grace to those who are unable to take the traditional 14 km Girivalam around Mount Arunachala. Bhagavan himself said that five circumambulations of the ashram Girivalam path has the same benefits as the traditional Girivalam. योगिराम सुरत कुमार योगिराम सुरत कुमार योगिराम सुरत कुमार जय गुरु राया योगिराम सुरत कुमार योगिराम सुरत कुमार योगिराम सुरत कुमार जय गुरु राया योगिराम सुरत कुमार Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jay Guru Raya Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jay Guru Raya What we see here is found on the Girivalam path next to the Veda Pachala This stone is a place where Bhagavan used to feed two malnourished and scared dogs Bhagavan asked his disciples to preserve this stone since it signifies how a dog never leaves his master in the same way a master never leaves his disciple either who has followed him faithfully as a dog does Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Jay Guru Raya
Our salutations and pranams to Ma Devaki, the living embodiment of devotion to one's Guru, and to Bhagavan Yogiram Sarat Kumar, who is a boundless and limitless ocean of grace. We submit our humble efforts towards making this video at Bhagavan's lotus feet. Jai Yogiram Sarat Kumar. Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Jaya Guru Raya. Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Jaya Guru Raya. Yogi Ram Surat Kumar. Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, Jaya Guru Raya, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, 